I played a game called Toaster Defense, and it was pretty freaking amazing, to be honest. Now, what is Toaster Defense, you ask? Well, it's a platforming tower defense game where you play as a toaster oven, and you have to protect the cute little toaster from all the baddies. There's four different types of baddies, and they consist of Little Green Lamp, which is just a basic enemy, Drill Boy, which is like Green Lamp, but cannot be jumped on or dashed into, Fat Fighter 2, which destroys your sentries one by one and then goes on to destroy your girlfriend. And Bomb Skulltula, which crawls on the walls and goes BOOM! When you defeat the enemies, you get coins. You can use these coins to either heal the toaster or to buy sentries to help defend the cute little toaster, which is the more practical use for coins. These sentries consist of a lamp, which shoots bulbs at the enemies and is most damaging. A fan, which slows enemies down whenever they pass and by. And a meat hammer, which slams down on enemies passing by. These sentries can then be upgraded to be more effective, although it costs a lot of coins, so I wouldn't recommend it unless you already build a sentry in every spot. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the controls. You move via WASD, you can shoot by holding left click on the mouse, you can reload using R, you interact with sentries using E, and you can do a dash by pressing Q. You can also use a homing attack using Q when in range. Gameplay wise, it's like any tower defense game you've played. There are multiple ways that get progressively harder every way. Sadly, there's no character upgrades, but I hope these get added in the future. Sa since I don't have anything else important to say about the game, I contacted the developer of Toaster Vince to have some of my questions answered. Here he is. Please a welcome Nathan Wooten, or Woots. Hello everyone, my name is Nathan, also known as Woots, and today I'll be answering some of Galaxy Bros' questions about Toaster Defense. So let's get to it! What is the inspiration for Toaster Defense? Believe it or not, the inspiration for Toaster Defense, what it is now, came from the Mario Bros. Uh, arcade game. Um, at that point, I had been working on what eventually became Toaster Defense for like a couple years, just teaching myself uh, game development. Uh, you know, I taught myself how to program. So I got to a point where I was like, okay, well, I need to make something fun and unique. Uh, I don't really know what to do. And then I was just looking at different platformers. And I went back to the original Mario Bros. arcade game, and I'm like, this is kind of fun, you know? It's just, like, repetitive, just, you can just kind of go forever almost. And uh, I was like, you know what? I could probably do something like that, just, a, just a, something that has a game loop that just keeps going and going and going. And I just wanted to put something in the game as well, like, to protect. So there's a reason, because in Mario Bros. the arcade game, there are you know, like pipes that they go through and stuff like that. So they'll just keep going forever. And um, I didn't want to, I didn't want to program all that. So I actually was like, you know what? I can probably make it like a tower defense game and uh, put something at the bottom that all the enemies are going to and that they'll, uh, you know, they'll eventually destroy the tower. At the time, I didn't know it was going to be a toaster, but I just kind of took that idea and ran with it and it became like this platformer tower defense game all in one. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't think I've, I've ever told anyone that, but Mario Bros. Arcade Game is actually the inspiration for Toaster Defense. Is there going to be a multiplayer mode? As of right now, no, there's not going to be a multiplayer mode, but I would absolutely love that. It's just all about, you know, my skill level and what I can do, and I know, I know a little bit of how to do multiplayer stuff, but um, I'm really just trying to focus on the single player. If the game does well and uh, you know enough, there's enough demand to warrant a multiplayer mode, I would definitely consider it because I think the game is set up pretty well for a multiplayer mode. And plus, you know, like I talked about, the Mario Bros. Arcade game is multiplayer, so it definitely would be very fitting to have multiplayer in there. So I'm not going to count it out. What can we expect for customization options? For customization options, we're going to be able to put hats on the toaster oven and also change the color, what kind of, uh, you know, what the texture is on there. Um, I actually, just the other day, uh, put that in the game so it's fully functional. I just got to make a bunch of hats and I got to make a bunch of textures. So yeah, you're going to be able to customize your toaster oven. Get ready. Do you expect toaster defense to be a big hit? I'm not really expecting it to be like a huge hit, you know. I would love it. I mean, absolutely, I would love it to be a, a huge splash in the indie market. But uh, I don't think you're going to see the toaster oven be a, like a me hat costume, whatever, in Smash Brothers anytime soon. The market for Steam, it's kind of, you know, there's a lot of games on Steam. And a lot of games release on Steam every day. So, you know, 
I do think Toaster Defense is a good, solid, fun game. I think it might get buried under a lot of the other Steam games, so I would love it to be a hit, but I'm not trying to sound pessimistic here because I'm, I'm a pretty optimistic person, but also I, I gotta, you know, rein in those uh, expectations and reality of what could happen, so I'm keeping low expectations just in case, but I really hope that it does well. Are you going to immortalize yourself in the game? I actually already have. There are many uh, little Easter eggs throughout the game of, uh, you know, my my Woots uh, YouTube profile, the face I use for my profile picture. I have scattered that across the level, so uh, I guess I, guess I kind of have immortalized myself into the game because uh, I plastered my face everywhere for people to find, so have fun with that. I'm asking you this as a joke, but are you going to add me in the game? Am I going to add the Galaxy Bros into the game? Absolutely. In one way or another, I'm going to find a way to put you in the game, dude. Uh, I already have it. I think what I, I think what I can do is for one of the texture options for the customization, I think I'm going to do like a Galaxy skin, and it will be in honor of you. It will be the Galaxy Bros Galaxy skin. It's going to be awesome. What future updates can we expect for Toaster Defense? So things I'm going to be working on in the future for Toaster Defense um, is obviously the customization. That's something that I need to uh, fully implement. And then uh, other than that, I really want to do some sort of a, uh, of a short story mode. Just something maybe for maybe like an hour worth of a story. Just something short, fun, um, you know, between the toaster and the toaster oven. And of course, some sort of antagonist. I need to create some villain. So yeah, if you want to keep updated on Toaster Defense, um, go ahead and you can check out my YouTube channel. I'm not trying to self-promote on your channel. So everyone should pr subscribe to Galaxy Bros first and then come to my channel and check me out. I'm gonna be putting the game on Steam soon within the upcoming weeks, so expect to see that on there, and I hope you guys like it enough to wishlist it. Other than that, yeah, I think that that's about it. Thanks you so much, Galaxy Bros, for making a video about um, the, the game, and I, and I hope that you, uh, you all like it. I want to thank y'all guys for watching till the end of the video. I want to thank Woots for sending me a place, place test version of Toaster Defense. And I want to thank him for recording voice lines for my video. You should totally check him out because he's a cool dude. The link's in the description. And I'll see y'all guys next time. Have a galactic good day.